The Hassel Mars Habitat is a proposed design for a human habitation on Mars. It was developed in response to NASA's 3D printed habitat challenge, which was held in 2017. The Hassel Mars Habitat is a two-phase construction project. In the first phase, an external shell made from local Martian regolith would be built in advance by autonomous robots. The shell would be designed to protect astronauts from radiation and dust storms. In the second phase, a series of inflatable pods would be constructed inside the shell. The pods would contain everything that the astronauts would need to live and work on Mars, including living quarters, laboratories, and greenhouses. The Hassel Mars Habitat is a promising design for a human habitation on Mars. It is a safe, comfortable, and sustainable solution that could help to make human exploration of Mars a reality. Starlink is a satellite internet constellation operated by SpaceX, providing high-speed internet to people in rural and underserved areas. It consists of a network of thousands of small satellites orbiting Earth in a low Earth orbit LEO. This allows Starlink to provide faster speeds and lower latency than traditional satellite internet, which uses geostationary satellites that orbit Earth at a much higher altitude. Starlink satellites use a technique called beamforming to focus their signals on specific areas of Earth. This helps to reduce interference and increase the amount of data that can be transmitted. When a user requests data, it is sent to a Starlink satellite, which then relays it back to the user's device. The entire process takes only a few milliseconds, which is much faster than traditional satellite internet. The Microsoft HoloLens 2 is a mixed-reality Mr. Headset that superimposes computer-generated holograms on the real world. It is the successor to the original Microsoft HoloLens, and it was released in 2019. The HoloLens 2 is an untethered device, meaning that it is not connected to a computer or any other external device. It is powered by a custom Qualcomm Snapdragon 850 processor and has a field of view of 120 degrees. The HoloLens 2 uses a variety of sensors to track the user's head and hands, and it can also be used with an optional hand tracking controller. The headset has a number of built-in speakers and microphones, and it can also be used with Bluetooth headphones. The HoloLens 2 is a powerful tool that can be used to enhance and transform the way people work, learn, and play. Pilot wearable sensors are devices that are worn on the body to collect data about a person's physiology or activity. They are often used in healthcare settings to monitor patients, but they are also becoming increasingly popular for consumer use, such as for tracking fitness or sleep. Pilot wearable sensors typically use a variety of sensors, such as accelerometers, gyroscopes, heart rate monitors, and GPS, to collect data. This data can then be transmitted wirelessly to a smartphone or other device, where it can be analyzed and displayed. There are many different types of pilot wearable sensors available, each with its own unique features and capabilities. Atlas is a 5 feet 10 inches tall, 330-pound humanoid robot developed by Boston Dynamics. It is designed to be a versatile research platform that can be used for a variety of tasks, such as search and rescue, logistics, and disaster relief. Atlas is powered by a hydraulic system and has 28 degrees of freedom, which gives it a wide range of motion. It can walk, run, jump, and even climb stairs. Atlas also has hands that can manipulate objects, which makes it even more versatile. Atlas is a powerful and impressive robot, but it is still under development. Boston Dynamics is constantly working to improve Atlas's capabilities, and it is sure to become even more impressive in the future.
Spin Launch is a spaceflight technology company developing a kinetic energy space launch system that reduces dependency on traditional chemical rockets, with the goal of significantly lowering the cost of access to space while increasing launch frequency. The company's technology uses a vacuum-sealed centrifuge to spin a 3-meter long, 1-meter wide rocket to speeds of up to 7,700 kilometers per hour. The rocket then ignites its engines at an altitude of roughly 200,000 feet to reach orbital speed of 17,150 miles per hour with a payload of up to 200 kilograms. Peak acceleration would be approximately 10,000 gram. If spin launch is successful, it could revolutionize the space industry by making it much cheaper and more efficient to launch satellites into orbit. This would open up new possibilities for space exploration and commercial applications. Boom Free Supersonic Flight is a new aviation technology that aims to eliminate the loud sonic boom that accompanies supersonic flight. Sonic booms are caused by shock waves that are created when an aircraft travels faster than the speed of sound. These shock waves can be very loud, reaching up to 120 decibels, and can cause significant noise pollution. NASA and Lockheed Martin are currently developing an experimental aircraft called the X-59 Quiet Supersonic Technology KSST that is designed to achieve boom-free supersonic flight. The X-59 is a small, single-engine aircraft that is designed to cruise at Mach 1.4, or about 1,000 miles per hour. The aircraft is shaped in a way that is designed to minimize shock waves and reduce the noise level to a gentle thump rather than a loud boom. The Cyberdog 2 is an advanced quadruped robot developed by Xiaomi. It is designed to be a versatile and agile companion, capable of following commands, performing tricks, and assisting with tasks around the home. The Cyberdog 2 is powered by a powerful NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NXAI supercomputer, which gives it the ability to learn and adapt to its surroundings. It is also equipped with a variety of sensors, including an RGB camera, a depth camera, and an ultrasonic sensor, which allow it to perceive its environment and navigate safely. The Cyberdog 2 can walk, run, and jump. The robot is controlled using a smartphone app, and it can also be programmed to perform specific tasks using Xiaomi's Python SDK. The Cyberdog 2 is still under development. Multipurpose halls with rotation transformation seats offer a versatile solution for a variety of event needs. These halls can be quickly and easily transformed from a traditional theater-style seating arrangement to a flat floor for banquets, conferences, or other events. The seats in a multipurpose hall with rotation transformation seats are mounted on individual platforms that can rotate 180 degrees. This allows the seats to be easily stored under the stage or in a designated storage area when the flat floor is needed. The platforms can also be moved to create a variety of different seating configurations, such as cabaret-style seating or tiered seating for conferences. Rotation transformation seats are typically made of high-quality materials and are designed to be comfortable and durable. They are also easy to clean and maintain. Crew Dragon is a class of partially reusable spacecraft developed and manufactured by American aerospace manufacturer SpaceX. It is designed to transport up to seven astronauts to and from low Earth orbit LEO, including the International Space Station ISS. Crew Dragon is also capable of carrying cargo to and from the ISS. Crew Dragon is a significant advancement in human spaceflight technology. It is the first commercially developed spacecraft to transport humans to the ISS, and it is the only active American spacecraft capable of returning astronauts to Earth. Crew Dragon is also the first spacecraft to use parachutes to splash down in the ocean since the Apollo program ended in 1972.
The IBM Quantum System 2 is a modular quantum computing system that was released in 2023. It is the successor to the IBM Quantum System 1, which was the world's first commercial quantum computer. The Quantum System 2 is designed to be more powerful and scalable than its predecessor, and it is intended to be a building block of future quantum-centric supercomputers. The Quantum System 2 is based on a modular architecture that allows for the addition of more qubits and processing power as needed. It also features a new type of quantum processor called the IBM Osprey, which has 433 qubits. The Osprey is the largest quantum processor that IBM has built to date. Fighting fire with sound is an unconventional but promising new firefighting technology. It works by using sound waves to disrupt the combustion process and extinguish flames. Sound waves are a type of pressure wave that can be used to move oxygen and other gases around. When sound waves are directed at a fire, they can disrupt the flow of oxygen to the flames, causing them to die out. The most effective sound waves for fighting fires are low-frequency base waves, which have a longer wavelength and can travel farther through air. These waves can also create more pressure than high-frequency sound waves, which makes them more effective at disrupting the combustion process. Miroki is a social companion robot developed by Enchanted Tools, a French robotics company. The robot is designed to assist people in hospitals, airports, and other public spaces. Miroki has a friendly face and can move around on its own using a spherical base. The robot can also interact with people using speech and gestures. Miroki is still under development, but it has already been tested in several hospitals. The robot has been shown to be effective in reducing stress and anxiety in patients. Miroki has also been used to help patients communicate with medical staff. Enchanted Tools hopes that Miroki will one day be used to provide emotional support and companionship to people in need. The company is also working on developing new features for the robot, such as the ability to play games and tell stories. The GACERA concept is a futuristic hydrogen-powered SUV that was unveiled at the 2023 Guangzhou Auto Show. It is a vision of the future of transportation, combining cutting-edge technology with sustainable design. The ERA's interior is designed for comfort and luxury. The seats are upholstered in bio-based mycelium leather, which is a sustainable material that is made from mushrooms. The dashboard is dominated by a large Mercedes-style display, and there is also a driver-centric screen and touch-sensitive controls. The ERA is powered by a hydrogen fuel cell system that produces 540 horsepower and 403 kilowatts of torque. The system is powered by two rear-mounted electric motors and has a zero-emission driving range of 800 kilometers. The ERA can be refueled in just five minutes, which is much faster than a conventional electric car. Playpulse One is an exercise bike that allows users to play video games while they work out. It has a 24-inch touchscreen PC, dedicated graphics, a high-precision pedal sensor, and handlebar game controllers with haptics. It also comes with a free 6-month Playpulse Live trial, which gives users access to a variety of games and workout programs. Playpulse One is a great way to make exercise more fun and engaging. The games are designed to be challenging and addictive, and the haptic feedback from the handlebar controllers makes the experience even more immersive. Users can also track their progress and compete with friends online. Playpulse One is available for pre-order now for $1,499.
Orbital is a short science fiction film written and directed by Yemeni science communicator Hashem al -Ghali. The film tells the story of a group of astronauts who are sent on a mission to investigate a mysterious signal from deep space. As they approach the source of the signal, they encounter a technologically advanced alien civilization that has been observing humanity for centuries. The aliens reveal that they have a mission of their own to save humanity from self-destruction. Orbital is a thought-provoking and visually stunning film that explores themes of artificial intelligence, the future of humanity, and the nature of reality. It is a must-see for fans of science fiction and anyone who is interested in the future of our planet.